Hi, this is Theo from Puckerblocks.com. Today I want to show you this watercolor paper that I bought many months ago. This is made by B Paper Company. B is and uh, Bumblebee. This is 100% cotton watercolor paper, 300 GSM acid free. Paper is of European origin, packaged in Malaysia and it's cold press. So um, let's see how it performs. I bought this on Amazon.com for US $19 and it comes in uh, something like this, plastic wrapping. I've already taken this off. They are actually loose sheets. So the paper is actually sold in different sizes like um, this one is 6 by 9 inches. There's also 12 by 9 inches in loose sheets or in those uh, tear off pads. Let's take a look at the paper, compare it to white paper. So the paper is a bit off white. This is actually very typical of watercolor paper. It tends to be a bit off white. And let me show you some of the watercolor samples that I've painted over this. The paper is cold pressed and there's some sort of uh, mechanical grain texture on it. It runs in this direction and also in this direction. Let me zoom in closer so that you can see it. Can you see the grain direction that runs like this? It's not very obvious but it's definitely there. Let's take a look at the other side. And on one side you get the texture, on the other side it's much smoother but you can use it on both sides as well if you want to use it as a practice paper. Let me put some paint on the paper to let you see how the colors turn out. I have already wet some of my colors here. I'm going to use Alizari Crimson and maybe Taylor Green and maybe Taylor Blue. So I'm going to blend these three colors together. This is permanent Alizari Crimson. The colors um, are very vibrant on this paper. I, I think some of the paper they tend to dial down the colors but not for this particular paper so it appears to be very vibrant. Next up I'm going to mix the thalo green. So I'm just going to go in and move it like that. The paper is 300 GSM so it can take very heavy wash but it does buckle very slightly. Now I'm going to add in thalo blue. So this is Taylor Blue. You can see that I use a lot, a lot of water. And the paper is taking up the wash very, very well. While waiting for that to dry, let me show you um, this watercolor sketch that I drew on the paper. I use Sharpie markers for the lines and watercolor over the Sharpie markers. Let's take a closer look. The paper actually does work quite well with fountain pen or even sharpie markers. So for markers, if you put the tip on the paper for a while, it does block. So um, that's expected. Um, regarding the mechanical texture that I mentioned earlier, unless you look out specifically for it, it can be quite difficult to detect. So um, uh, from what I can see here, I don't really notice any mechanical texture, the green lines and stuff like that. Maybe in this section it starts to show through, so this is the direction. But for lighter areas like this, um, it's okay. It only shows through when you are using granulating pigments. Let me show you another sketch. This is... Um, sketch of a car that I drew yesterday or a few days ago. Permanent Alizari Crimson with Cobalt Blue. This is drawn with Sharpie markers as well. Let me show you how it performs with um, fountain pen. Okay, 
the lines actually come out quite sharp there's no feathering of any sort so it works pretty well with fountain pens as well and the paper is not too dry so uh, it doesn't soak in a lot of water but remember that this is 100% cotton so um, it is quite durable you can layer quite a lot of washes this is almost dry now so um, this is how it looks the good thing about this paper is it's 100% cotton so it's very durable you can layer in a lot of washers and it's not going to buckle a lot so this is quite a heavy wash and it didn't even buckle uh, much the downside is the mechanical green texture that is sort of noticeable if you look out for it so um, that's the pros and cons for this paper so um, thanks for watching today's video if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel do so for more art product reviews sketching tips and techniques sketchbook art book features thanks and have a nice day see you next time